Okay. But what if by mistake the user types some kind of path that doesn't exist? So let's say I'm going to go with forward slash and then hello. At the moment, basically, we'll display nothing. Why? Well, because if we take a look at our app JS, we're only handling these routes. We have forward slash, home, then about, and then products. And in order to handle this type of scenario, we want to set up an error page, where essentially we'll display some kind of error message for every request that doesn't match any of our routes. And we want to do that with a route component, we want to pass in the path with a star. So essentially, this will match everything. So if we cannot find those pages over here, then this will collect all of them. And then we want to set up some kind of error page. So first, let's set up this in the app JS, and then we'll work on the error page. Now there is already a page in the pages, but I just want to add a little bit more content. So first, let's go to app JS, let's copy and paste. And yes, we want to place here all the way at the end, because this catches pretty much everything. So we want to go here with the star. And now let's work on the error page. We're essentially at the moment, again, we have this section with a class of section and heading to with an error. But I want to set up a link back home. And as I know, this is what we're going to be working on. So we want to get the link component from react router down, we want to add some kind of logic. So 404 page not found. And then we want to navigate back home. So let's try this one out where in this case, I'll speed this up, I'll grab the link. Since we'll need that one. Then after the heading two, or you know what, let's change this one around where I'm going to go 404. So page not found a paragraph page not found. And then we want to go with link component to where I want to navigate Well, I want to go back home. And in this case, let's just say back home, let's save this, we want to import the page. So let's try out the auto import. So I'm going to go here with error. And let's see whether I got actually the page. Now it doesn't look like it. So let me try one more time. Yep, over here, I can use the auto import. And notice now we have a nice 404 page. So if I'm going to go with forward slash, and testing, same deal, we don't have that particular page in our project. So basically, there is no URL that matches that. And therefore, we display this error page. Now, if we click on back home, we nicely navigate back 